Hi lovies! Welcome back to my channel, Just Missy. I'm Missy. If you're new here, I'm so glad to have you. Today is going to be a video I've never made before and I thought it would be just really fun to do. It's a Christmas intentions video, I think is a good name for this. I've never made a video like this before, like I said. But yesterday, Hobby Lobby was having huge sales. I've never went to Hobby Lobby when they were having 60% off of Christmas decor before Christmas. And not only that, they were having 66% off fall. Ugh, I really wanted to shop those aisles as well, but I'm getting ready to take all my fall things down <laughs> to prepare for Christmas. So I had to try to resist, even though in my mind I'm going, but this is when you buy all the fall stuff for next year. <laughs> But how I feel now may not be how I feel next year for my decor because this year my decor has going to change a lot for Christmas. So I know myself in the fact that I should wait. But I was shopping in the Christmas section for specific things. And when I was shopping, it just really hit me that Hobby Lobby is great about this too, how they kind of like separate all the aisles into like, if you're going for a very neutral Christmas, like they'll have like a section where everything is just kind of whites and creams. If you're doing farmhouse, they have a section that's kind of like all buffalo check. Like they're really great about that. And when I was walking through all of those aisles, and as I'm talking, I'm going to be flashing a whole bunch of stuff. That's why there's a big gap here. Plus, I have a haul to show you. So that's why this little area is here to show you all the things that I'm talking about. Um, I was just like, wow, you know, what would make more sense? Because I'm all about color. I've been this way my entire life. And one thing I learned over the fall months, especially with my bedroom, is I did this room a lot of teal. And I had a teal bedspread, the whole thing, curtains. And then I'm locked in. Like I can only do things in that color scheme and it's very hard. So I tried something new for fall, which if you haven't seen, I will link that video down below, which is my boho inspired fall bedroom makeover. And I bought this beautiful white quilt from the Goodwill. And the one that you're seeing on it right now, this beautiful, um, like quilted, I'm not even sure what you would call this, but it's a Christmas like blanket and the pillow I got from the Goodwill as well. And I realized that if I have a more neutral palette, whites, creams, beiges, that I can pull in any color I want and use these pieces over and over and over again. So when I went to Hobby Lobby this time, I had a very different eye when I was looking at everything. So I'm like, you know what, this year, instead of going for these big bright colors, because that's just me, I love bright bright colors. And my favorite color is teal. Is that blue green teal? Oh, I just love that color. I should go for staple pieces that I can add color into. And I'm going to do something that I've never done this year and I'm so excited to share it with you is number one I am decorating my bedroom this year for Christmas which I've never done and I've been collecting things this is not it I got sheet sets I got a whole bunch of stuff gonna happen in this bedroom I just did this for today <laughs> but I'm gonna be decorating my bedroom and I am just so inspired to do an slow living old-fashioned Christmas I'm not going to be doing that in like my whole home, but just mainly in like where our main Christmas tree and stuff is. And I've never, ever, ever had a cocoa bar. I've never had one of those. I think I had one when I first came on YouTube and I used this little hutch, but I didn't have anything. I think I just had like, I don't even remember what I had. So I'm really going to try to go all out this year for um, my cocoa hutch. I'm going to be doing that on my um, baker's rack. So I'm so excited. So I went to Hobby Lobby. What I was really looking for, which I've never done, is for statement pieces that I can use year after year after year, no matter what I decide. Like if next year, if I decide we're scrapping the old fashioned Christmas and we're going back to big, bold colors, I can still use these pieces because they're they're so neutral, I can interchange them to whatever theme that I really want to go for 
And I really, like, I don't know why it took me this long to figure this out. <laughs> but it was like a big light bulb went on my head. So as I was walking through Hobby Lobby, and I know I have to go back because the four huge aisles that were all, you know, Thanksgiving, fall, um, I know that those are going to come down because there were boxes everywhere. Some of these aisles you couldn't even get through because the boxes were like, so big in them so I know there's going to be more decor <laughs> coming out so I know I have to go back to look for some more hopefully there'll be another at least 50% off Christmas decor I couldn't believe this was 60 but I'll go back one more time for 50% off so I have some pieces that I want to share with you and I want to share with you some ideas that I thought would be fantastic for an old-fashioned Christmas and that is, number one, going outside and picking up some natural things. So as I was standing there, I was looking at all of their garland. And of course, all of their garland mimics the outdoors. And I understand why you do this, because if you go out and you cut real pine and stuff, it doesn't last, you know, super, super long. But my intentions this year is to get as much pine as I could. But then I found this little section that had beautiful little pine wreaths that were like, some of them were flocked, some of them weren't. I think there was some lamb's ear there as well. And I thought that those would be great statement pieces to pick up because I can interchange these. So I did pick two of these up and these were $7.99 with 60% off. Like when I think about this, I'm like, I should have bought like 10 of these. <laughs> It's, but this is the kind of statement pieces that I'm thinking about because this can be used over and over and over again. I can put whatever color bulbs that I decide to do for Christmas that particular year in here. I can spruce this up with whatever I want and bring in the colors that I'm using for that year, but I can continue to use these pieces over and over and over every year. So this is the kind of stuff that I'm talking about. And in years past, this is something that I would have passed right up. This would not have caught my eye because there's no color. I am very, very attracted to bold, bright colors, cutesy, whimsical. If it has a little animal on it, I'm a sucker. <laughs> like these are just things that I don't gravitate towards. So I tried to change my eye and I'm just like, these are a great statement piece. These would also be cute like for a centerpiece because they have the little hole in the middle. I mean, that's not what they're for. They're called wreaths, but you could turn them this way and put candles up through them. Like they're, they're multi-purpose. And again, because they're so neutral, I can add colors to this and pull these into any color scheme or any theme that I want to do. So I'm really trying to train my eye to go for more of pieces like these. So I did pick up two of these and I'm really excited to use these. And like I said, these are just things that I would never gravitate towards. And it was really interesting to me to go to those sections where there was lots of neutrals, lots of beiges and whites and creams. Those are like not in my color wheel. You know, but now that I redid my bedroom and I did it very neutral, actually bright white, as you can see behind me, I hope it's not too bright and washing me out. I'm like, wow, like I can pull any color into here. So that's where I'm trying to go for. And I'm trying to go for a very old fashioned Christmas. So I have ideas about like putting lights in my tree, not Christmas lights, but like actual candle lights in my tree. And I want to dry oranges and lots of ribbon. I really never ever use ribbon for my Christmas. Like I just don't. I do lots, like I said, um, cutesy stuff, animals, like I love all that stuff. And I don't use a lot of ribbon. But this year I'm thinking lots of ribbon, lots of dried oranges, lots of nature inspired things. I have beautiful pine woods behind me. I know I can collect some fresh pine. I know I already have pine cones. I picked them up for my Thanksgiving tablescape, which I can link that down below if you're interested as well. That turned out absolute beautiful. And I'm always interested in doing things on a budget as well. 
So I do interchange a lot of things too. Like I'll get some nice things when they come on sale from a nice decor shop and then I'll go to Dollar Tree to fill in all those little gaps. But those are the things that I really, really, really want to bring in this year. Lots of natural, toned down, more simple, old fashioned Christmas. So I'm super excited. So another thing that I was talking about was my cocoa bar, which I'm so excited about that I have a space to do this because usually I don't have no counter space. I have a baker's rack, so I have the space. So when I was going for my cocoa bar decoration, of course they had beautiful, bright red, like cocoa bar. And I love those. And those are what I originally had in my cart. My mother actually found this. And when I saw this, I thought this made much more sense because here we go. We have neutral colors and black and white. And it's so cute. It's a hot chocolate. It says everything that I want it to say. It's adorable. It's, um, I believe this has a little stand on the back. So you kick these little pieces up right back here and this will pop out so it's a stand or you can use it as a picture whatever you want to do with it this was $15.99 with 60% off so I thought that was a great deal but again it was really hard for me to refrain from not buying super bright colors I wanted the bright red one you know but I I did it because I can use this piece every single year somewhere and pull in the colors that I'm using with a simple bow a ribbon, whatever the case may be. But I thought this would be really, really cute for my hot chocolate, my cocoa bar, whatever you want to call it. I just thought this was super, super cute. Marshmallows and sprinkles, candy canes, whipped cream. I just can't wait to pull all those things in. So I thought this was a great neutral piece to pick up for an old fashioned Christmas. So as I was walking down the artificial tree aisle, not the big ones, I have plenty of those, <laughs> the decorative ones. Um, this is something else that I don't normally do. I don't have very many of these. I always gravitate towards the cutesy things, the snowmen, the animals, all of those things. But these are actually a great way to incorporate, you know, country Christmas, um, old fashioned Christmas, uh, farmhouse Christmas. And it's a way for you to pull in colors as well. So of course, I automatically was drawn to like the, they had beautiful teal, huge teal bottle brush trees. <laughs> That's the first one I had in my hand. And then of course they had bottle brush trees that were teal with pink bulbs. And those are the things that I gravitate toward. And I had to put it back and I'm like, Missy, that's not your theme for this year. And you're looking for pieces that you can use year after year after year with no matter what theme you picked out. So I was looking at them. So of course, some of like the blown glass and um, just mercury glass ones that would be perfect because they're just silver. You can use those for any color, for any color scheme that you picked out. I picked out these guys. So these were $7.99, 60% off, of course. I wish they would have had a taller one, but they didn't. They, they're all, the whole aisle was like all the same size, but I wish I could have got just a little bit of a bigger one. But I figure these would be fantastic for no matter what theme I choose for Christmas. And this is the kind of stuff that I'm going to continue to train my eye and gravitate towards because you can spruce this up with a little bit of, but with a bow, with a bulb, with something that you're going to put with it. And that's the point that I guess I'm trying to make is that when you go shopping, try to pick up statement pieces that are so neutral, they can go with any scheme that you pick from years to come. And that is why I keep repeating this because this is what I really want to do for myself. <laughs> now that I said all of that, I had, there was one little thing, one little thing that I saw. This is me. This is totally me. I put them up here on the bed because I was losing them in the bag. This is the stuff that I gravitate towards. This was $4.99, 60% off, and it's a glittered chickadee. This is me. This is the kind of stuff that I gravitate towards. The cutesy little animals, things like that. Now, they had a whole bunch of these, and they were... A lot of these were um, the Red Cardinals, and he was more neutral, kind of dialed down, but he has the sugar frosted look, 
And I really intentionally, I bought him because I thought he would look super cute in my three tier tray. But <laughs> this is the kind of stuff I just had to pick him up because this is the kind of stuff that I gravitate. And it was so hard to leave this little guy back because he was only $4.99 with 60% off. He was like a dollar or something. Yeah, like a dollar or something. So I couldn't, I couldn't, I just couldn't. Now, I really wanted to buy the bright red Cardinals. But again, I mean, that could be a great statement piece as well. But this is so neutral color that I think no matter what I do, I can use him for whatever. And he's like sugar frosted. He's super cute. So as I was shopping, there was other sales going on as well. There was 50% um, off wall decor. There was 40% off of hobbies and puzzles. This, I mean, there was major sales going on. And I did mention at the beginning of this video that I was walking through the um, fall aisles and who there were so many things that I wanted. I did happen to pick this one fall thing up because Thanksgiving and such forth is coming and I love aprons. So when I saw this, I had to get it because this was $21.99 with 66% off. And that's totally my colors. I need to undo the back so you guys can kind of see it. So, count your blessings. I love, and it has like this little ribbed up here by the neck. It's just adorable. And then down below, it has like the little ribbed pocket. I just think this is so stinking cute for... Thanksgiving, the fall season. I love aprons and you better believe I was trying my darndest to find Christmas aprons and they didn't have any of those out. And I believe those were probably in the boxes that were sitting in all the aisles. So that's why I said I, I probably will have another trip to Hobby Lobby. Hopefully I will catch it on when they're having 50% off of Christmas. If they have another 60% off, I'm going because I saw a bunch of more neutral things that I would absolutely love to have bought, but I'm on a budget. That is what I'm all about, making your space, your home, a beautiful space, but on a budget. You don't have to spend millions of dollars to make a space beautiful, and I'm all about thrifting. Like blankets, I, I got all of this from Goodwill, so I don't want to go crazy in places like this, but... What makes more sense though is when you do get a chance, when you do get a chance to shop at, you know, high end retail places to buy pieces that you can use over and over and over again, no matter what your theme is. And that's what I'm really trying to train my brain. This is a little pop of red. This was $2.99 with 60% off. So like, I don't know, I paid cents for this maybe, <laughs> I'm not sure. Can't do that math in my brain, but I thought this was cute. It was ho, ho, ho. Very, very simple. And I did pick this up for my three-tier tray. I need more of these kinds of little pieces for my three-tier tray. It's a huge one. Um, so I don't, it never, I never seem to fill it all the way. So I was looking for more of these kinds of little pieces. And I figured for $2.99 when you have the 60% off, that's pretty good. And then, like I said, they were having 50% off of, um, wall decor. And I just redid this bedroom, as I mentioned earlier, um, the boho inspired fall themed. And when I was doing this, I don't know if you guys can see, but you see this plant that's standing behind me. I have two of these little plants hanging in the corner, one in each corner. And then I have like this big gap here and then it goes right into the bright white curtain. And I'm just like, I feel like I need something on these little gaps, the gaps in between the planter and the curtain. So when I saw these, I just was like, yeah, again, it could be a statement piece because of how neutral they are. <laughs> so no matter what color I do in my bedroom, I can take, I can always use these. So I picked these up. I just thought that they were absolutely beautiful. These were $8.99 wall decor with the 50% off. And I just love them. I just, I just think that they're they're just absolutely gorgeous. I cannot wait to get them on the wall. They have a little hanger on them. 
and I think they'll go really well with my planters that I have in the corner and I just want to put them in the space on each side of the window I just really feel like on each side of the window is very bare and it needs something and I love the boho look like my bedroom is boho I love that look and I just felt like this spoke boho but was very neutral enough that if I changed any colors in my bedroom, I would not have to remove these or take these down. Or I, I could add a ribbon to bring in some kind of color or something of that nature. So this trip was very interesting for me to pick out things that didn't have lots of color because believe it or not, the very first ones that I had in my hand of the exact same thing were teal ones. And I carry these teal little, whatever these are, <laughs> All around the store arguing with myself Missy if you get the teal ones and you change the color in your room it's not gonna work and you have to think about that teal next to those bright white curtains and I went and put them back and got these white ones and I'm very they're creamy they're not bright white they're creamy and I'm very happy that I did because no matter what I do in my bedroom now I won't have to remove these pieces so in turn they become a statement piece so I guess that's what I'm trying to say today is that my Christmas intentions this year when I go shopping at, you know, retail stores, Dollar Tree, the Goodwill, I'm going to be looking for neutral Christmas statement pieces. I'm going to be using lots of ribbon, lots of nature inspired colors and materials. And I really hope to achieve a beautiful old fashioned Christmas. So I hope this gets you excited for the upcoming decor, decorate with me videos that will be coming your way very shortly. I have a feeling this weekend, all of the fall things are going to be coming down and I'm going to clean everything so that the following week I have a clean blank space to begin decorating. And I have a feeling my 3T tray and my cocoa bar are gonna be some of the firsts because <laughs> I'm so excited about those. But anyways, I really hope that you enjoyed this video. This was kind of like my Christmas intentions with a haul and some pictures that I found on Pinterest and some of the shop with me that I did at Hobby Lobby when I went to the sale to just give you some inspiration to really think about what you're going to be doing for Christmas instead of just decorating, which is me, 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 me. I've always been, if I like it, I'm buying it and I'm putting it up regardless if it matches or not. And there's nothing wrong with that. But this year, I'm going to be intentional in my decorating. So this is a brand new experience for me and I'm very excited to share it with you guys. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. And I'll be talking to you guys very soon in a new one. I cannot wait to start decorating. I also have a Thanksgiving side dish video coming out this week, this coming week. And I can't wait to share those with you. So lots of homey, fun, decorating and cooking and all of the good things that come with the holiday season are coming your way right from Just Missy. So if you're new here, I hope that you'll take a minute and hit that subscribe button. It's free and stick around and become a lovey. Until next time, guys, know that I love you, but Jesus loves you so much more. Take care of you and I'll be seeing you guys soon. Love you. Bye.